What's up, what to play? Ernest here. Today we're going to talk about 25 of the best PC games from the year 2016 to onwards. That means, you know, from 2018 and probably still 2018. And if you want to see more of the best PC games, you can also visit our site at whattoplay.com right here. Once again, linked in the description box below. The Play Score is a standard rating that averages gamer and critic reviews. At number 25 is Rakuin. Lara Shigahara's Labor of Love is a storybook for all ages. Clad in familiar pixel visuals, Rakuin follows the story of a hospitalized boy navigating through unerringly mature themes in his colorful imagination. A bittersweet tale that's worth a bit of heartache. It has a play score of 8.77. Number 24 is Doki Doki Literature Club. If you're coming into this with the expectation of some lovely waifu time, think again. This free-to-play title from Team Salvato is not your ordinary visual novel. Waifu-filled as this game's literature club is, you probably shouldn't expect to spend too much time with them. Acclaimed for its viciously traumatizing themes, it has a play score of 8.77. Number 23 is Owlboy, a platform adventure 10 years in the making. Meticulously pouring over every single pixel, D-Pad Studios' attention to detail brought Owlboy the attention it deserved. It's a breathtaking masterclass in pixel visuals, bringing awe with each frame of Ghibli-like paradise. Fly around in Alboy's floating islands with a play score of 8.79. Number 22 is Night in the Woods. An eye-opening experience awaits us in Infinite Falls narrative adventure told through the eyes of anthropomorphic animals. Despite their choice of characters, May's Night in the Woods is every bit a human story. Uncover the secrets behind the recent phenomena and pick up a few life lessons along the way. It has a play score of 8.8. .8. Number 21 is Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun. The spirit of commandos lives on in this hardcore tactical stealth game set in the height of Japan's Edo period. Lurk in the shadows and practice the way of the ninja as you navigate through hundreds of expertly designed levels. Solve the puzzles of each stage as five different characters with varying skills and personalities. Plan ahead and master the art of execution as it has a play score of 8.8. .8. Number 20 is Forza Horizon 3. Only the third title in the recent racing series, Horizon has no shortage of promise. Combining two highly marketable genres into one, Forza Horizon has become a pure open world haven for racing enthusiasts across the globe. Cruise through the vast Australian landscapes and discover a world that's twice bigger than the last. It has a play score of 8.8. .8. Number 19 is Rise of the Tomb Raider. She may have left the Dragon's Triangle, but it's nothing close to smooth sailing for the Sterling Spelunker. Back with a brand new adventure, Lara takes the action to the dry Siberian tundra in a race against time. Praised for its gorgeous graphics, rich character design, and tense action sequences, it has a play score of 8.81. Number 18 is Into the Breach. From the creators of Faster Than Light, Subset Games gets another success on their hands with this tactical RPG. Take the side of humanity and defend the colonies against a gigantic offense. Suit up in their powerful mechs and fight your way to victory in their turn-based battles and procedurally generated challenges. It has a play score of 8.83. Number 17 is Bayonetta. Platinum Games hack and slash masterpiece finally makes it to the PC and is delivering in more ways than one. Back with amped up graphics and 4K resolutions, the seductive witch has opened yet into another worldwide success. Slip into her iconic heels and whip your hair against the city's poor angels. An award-winning title made even better, it has a play score of 8.84. Number 16 is SteamWorld Dig 2. Just one of the many eShop releases for the Switch, the 2D action adventure digs out of their earthen world and into the console lineup. Play as the steam-powered robot Dorothy as he takes the helm of the underground escapade. It's got the same steampunk feel to their world, but it's back with more delightful Metroidvania fun. A solid second installment, it has a play score of 8.85. Number 15 is Dark Souls 3, the final curtain in what is now known as From Software's genre-defining hit. This third installment of the Dark Souls series is a culmination of the series' best features. Enter Hidetaka Miyakami's nightmarish universe and wallow in the sweet, sadistic glory of their stamina-testing combat. A fitting end to a renowned action RPG series, it has a play score of 8.85. Number 14 is Ahead in Time, an absolutely adorable 3D platformer that gladly steps in for the Super Mario Odyssey void in the hearts of PC gamers. Crafted in the much familiar Nintendo games of old, A Hat in Time tells the story of a charming little girl who stitches up wondrous powers with the power of hats. Help her conquer the trials of a vast fantastic planet with a play score of 8.87. 
Number 13 is Opus Magnum. An independent game studio known for their remarkable engineering puzzlers, Zaptronics pulls out all the stops to bring us the programming simulation we never thought we needed. Scoring an impressive 10 out of 10 on Steam, it's their most accessible title yet. Master the art of transmutation as you design, build, and carry alchemical solutions to answer their myriad of quests. Topped with a rich storyline filled with volatile dangers, it has a play score of 8.9. Number 12 is Gorgoa. Annapurna Interactive squeezes out another outstanding puzzle game, this time sprinkled with the hypnotic aesthetics of Jason Roberts' art style. Easy on the eyes, but not so much for the mind, Gorgoa will challenge you to use your imagination. Arrange their illustrated patterns into the correct orders and let your creative juices flow with a play score of 8.91. Number 11 is West of Loathing. Don't be fooled by this game's sly looks. It might look like just some college animation project, but West of Loathing packs one hell of a comedic punch. A role-playing game set in the wild stick figure West, meet their diverse cast of characters and traverse their monochromatic open world with their varying abilities. A slapstick open world adventure, it has a play score of 8.91. Number 10 is Subnautica. Enter the realm of Poseidon as Unknown Worlds Entertainment introduces us to the secrets of an undiscovered abyss. An open-world survival game set in extraterrestrial seas, exploration forms the heart of this underwater adventure. Unravel the mysteries of their strange oceans and survive the dangers that may come along the way. It has a play score of 8.93. Number 9 is Pony Island. Daniel Mullen's Strange Indie Puzzler. Step cautiously into this eerie metafictional game that is very aware of its existence as a game. While that usually leads to some funny breaking the fourth wall type interactions, this game takes the road less traveled, dealing a few bursts of psychological horror with a side of ardent curiosity. Jump over some hurdles, get to the finish line, earn huge amounts of experience, and find yourself in a spiral of confusion and despair. It has a play score of 8.94. Number 8 is Inside. Play Dead shows their mastery of minimalist dystopia in this artful puzzle platformer. Showing just a tad bit more color than their Limbo title, Inside lets you dive into yet another dark tale. It's a thrilling atmospheric experience that's rife with smart puzzles, tense moments, and emotional narratives. Surpassing their own standards of excellence, it has a play score of 8.95. Number 7 is Hollow Knight. One of the pioneering titles of the gallant Metroidvania comeback, Hollow Knight is another indie game that surpassed expectations. A journey headed by their skull-capped adventurer lift the curse of a ruined land as you enter its kingdom of insects. Despite its gloomy environments, it's still a colorfully challenging adventure wrapped in exquisitely designed levels and responsive controls. It has a play score of 8.98. Number 6 is Cuphead. Studio MDHR's maiden title is an extraordinary work of art. Turning heads since before its release, Cuphead took inspiration from the strange cartoons of the 1930s and turned them into poster boys for platforming punishment. Get to know their magically whimsical world as you go through each of their boss fights and run and gun stages. A masterpiece born out of pure passion, it has a play score of 9.04. Number 5 is What Remains of Edith Finch. Not a horror game, but Giant Sparrow's narrative adventure has no shortage of goosebump inducing moments. Tasked to investigate the mysteriously cursed lineage of the Finches, the journey takes you to their haunted manor off the coast of Washington State. Play as the youngest of the ill fated ancestry and uncover their traumatizing histories. Praise for gameplay, story, and presentation, it has a play score of 9.05. Number 4 is Day of the Tentacle Remastered. You might call this a cop-out since this is a remastered version of the 90s classic, but there's definitely something to be said about the timelessness of LucasArts' time-bending misadventures. Experience the world through the eyes of their oddball characters and maneuver through the uproarious events with their point-and-click system. A cult classic, it receives a play score of 9.1. Number 3 is Celeste. After letting you enjoy the sweet spoils of multiplayer victory in Towerfall Ascension, Matt Thorson's latest adventure platformer definitely has no qualms with taking you down a notch. Hiding a punishing platformer beneath its pixel visuals, take on Madeline's journey up Celeste Mountain, riddled with brutal traps and unexpected difficulty spikes. With a charming story to boot, it receives a play score of 9.13. Number 2 is Stardew Valley. Harvest Moon was a staple in our childhood consoles, and thanks to SickHad Games, we finally get that dose of quaint country living on the PC. An award-winning indie title, Stardew Valley doesn't just nail it with the nostalgic pixel visuals, it also encapsulates everything we loved about the classics while putting their own modern spin. Take care of your farm, find the love of your life, and meet the neighbors. A compelling farm life simulation, it has a play score of 918 standing on top as the best PC game is Divinity Original Sin. 
breathing new life to the tabletop RPG adventures, Larian Studios brings the emergent gameplay of D&D campaigns to digital reality. Building up on a foundation of interactive environments and various customizations, Divinity's isometric open world weaves an endlessly immersive tale of magic and wonder. Made even better with the addition of more co-op features and a game master mode, it's easily one of Vidigame's recent masterpieces and it has a play score of 9.33. And that's our video! And if you enjoy our content, please subscribe, leave a like, and hit that notification bell for the latest updates. And of course, you can support this channel by purchasing these games through the provided Amazon affiliate links. If you want to see more of the best games from any platform, feel free to check out our website at whattoplay.com with a link, once again, right here in this little tiny description box. See you next time.